It's not Thursday, but it is a throwback night. NC State men's basketball will host Maryland Eastern Shore at Reynolds Coliseum instead of PNC Arena, the one night per season that the Pack celebrate the days of old as they go back to their old stomping grounds. And all the way in, fans will see a new fixture that's also a first. Pat Welter has a story. Drum roll, please. In a crowd full of NC State legends, there's only one with the statue. David Thompson, the first Wolfpack player to be enshrined outside Reynolds Coliseum, joining the likes of coaches Everett Case, Norm Sloan, Jimmy V, and Kay Yao. There's only one first player. <laughs> and to be that one, you got to be special. No detail was spared by sculptor David Allen Clark. It's going to be there forever, so you really can't afford to make a mistake. Right down to his vertical leap and his signature play. Showing a 44-inch vertical on there on the bottom of the statue. That was our uh, signature play to Alley Oop, so that was appropriate. Back to Wolfpack is number one, and the number one of them all, David Thompson, is at the free throw line right now. It's been 50 years since Thompson led state to its first national championship. Now the Skywalker never has to touch the ground again. As you know, we, we're not getting any younger, and I'm glad to have a statue there while, while I'm alive. David Thompson famously wasn't allowed to dunk in college, and he didn't until his final home game here at Reynolds Coliseum when he threw down a tomahawk dunk. He got called for a technical foul on the play, and years later somebody said to him, you know, if you hadn't done that, you would have averaged 30 points per game. He said, yeah, well, no one would have remembered that. Chris. All right, thank you, Pat.